can't get them to bite, man. It's driving me nuts. I've had kayak issues, reel issues, bait issues, terminal tackle issues. Today has just been a day of issues, and I'm surrounded by reds. I have found them, but I am shooting myself in the foot. Total self-destruction. Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today we're gonna go kayak fishing. But before we do that, I just want to show you uh, this kayak cart. I just got it in. Um, this is a, <laughs> this is a very awesome and nice, uh, very beefy, heavy duty kayak cart. The wheels are non-inflatable, which means you don't have to worry about them going flat. I mean, this thing can hold over 400 pounds. It's, it's a really super nice kayak. Today's the first day I'm trying it out. Um, I mean, it came in packaged perfect, uh, well packaged, not a scratch on this thing when it's shipped. And it's it's by Blue Dot Outfitters, the same company that makes this my kayak cooler bag that I really like and really enjoy. Well, this is their cart. Uh, I picked it up on Amazon. You can pick up yours today. But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna unload with this cart. It, like I said, I mean it's you can see it right here. I mean it's just super nice very, fully adjustable i mean it's gonna fit any any kayak any kayak that you have out there now i've been kayaking for over 10 years now and you see new products come on the market you see you know it's pretty much all the same thing just a, you know different designs different different um you know they change the packaging a little bit but this is really a nice a nice kayak this is really a cool design um if you are looking for a cart I would recommend this just on my first impressions. Haven't used it yet, like I said, but wouldn't use it today. So I'm gonna get on the water. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget, we do have a Patreon page. So if you're wondering where are you fishing, Ruben? Where are you catching these fish at? What is going on? Well, you can click over to Patreon and there's gonna be a fishing report on there of this spot in this location. Now, I'm not too sure <laughs> how much fishing is gonna get done. I recently saw that my little inserts right here you can see on this side better it peeled off you know i mean it's four-year-old kayak or give or take and a little it peeled off there's still the insert inside so i'm hoping that's not going to affect the kayak i'm hoping it doesn't cause a leak i don't think it should but this might be a short trip um but yeah we're out here we're gonna get going i'm gonna load this kayak i'm gonna get in the water thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe and share All right, so I've been out here a little while. You can see that there's just blow-ups and pop-ups and everything on little shad. Um, I've thrown some little, couple little spoons and they didn't want anything. I had the cork, they didn't want it. Um, what it looks like to me, now it kind of looks like there's some trout in here, but it really looks like this place is just loaded with gar. I mean, there's just tons and tons of gars in here. Um, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you like catching gar, gars are fun to catch. But I, I, I never caught a gar on a artificial before, uh, or landed one. I hooked up, but I think it was more of a reaction strike. But yeah, um, I don't know. You know, these little shads during this time of year, they're all over the place. And typically, if you can throw, sometimes the, the reds and 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 specks and whoever's eating on them. We'll get locked jaw and get really just focused on that on the profile not want anything else but sometimes you can get lucky and throw on top of them top of these little school of shads and get a uh, get a reaction bite perhaps uh, maybe you will entice them i just put on a gulp just because of the scent and it has a, a chartreuse tail it's got a lock jaw Dang, they're everywhere. 
Everywhere, everywhere. Can't get him to bite. I noticed this quick twist, Norton quick twist, had a slight gap in it. Typically I could just pinch it down just a little bit and let it secure my lure a little better. Stay tuned and find out why this haunts me. Alright, so I found a smaller spoon. I'm gonna chunk that a little bit, trying to Trying to match the hatch with with these uh, these little baby shad there in the water, little fresh fresh little guys. I'll try a fresh little spoon. Where are you guys at? It's supposed to be a short day today. <laughs> so supposed to be a short, quick day today. I don't think that's happening. I think all that bait is. Oh. There's a red over there. I just seen his hump. All right, let me sit down, use the paddle, and try to go in a little more quiet. <sighs> He's right on the edge of that grass line. You can see him left of that bird. There's one little hump. The way this water is slapping on this kayak. I can just see him glistering over there. He's a small guy. But there was a bigger guy over there too. That bird might scare him when that bird flies off. See, there's his hump. Just a barely... Oh, there he goes right there. He popped on something. Hope that bird don't scare him. Kind of what I was looking for. A red belly down a little bit. There you go, bird. Nice and quiet. Shh, be quiet. Be good. Be good to me, birdie. I don't know what I'm to him. He moved out. I can see some more blow ups over here. I think I'm gonna move. Try to, uh, try to move over there as quiet, quiet as possible. It's like super shallow back here, though. I didn't want to, see, that's what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to push in and then start scaring the bait. And then domino effect, the bait scares the reds. So you always got to be careful moving in the area. Just laying in the mud. They're just laying in the mud. What the? Wow! Something hit my l lure. And it came off. Dang it. I noticed this little quick thing, it was like, man, need to be changed out. I didn't have another one. I tried to squeeze it to make it work. And uh, yeah, I just set myself up for failure. Wow. Dumped it and it came off. Dang it. That hurts. There he goes. Dang it. Ah. Man. Just don't want it. <laughs> they just don't want it. See, there's another one. There he goes. It's going that way. Get in front of him. Oh, oh man. They just don't want it. Everything's going wrong for me today, man. 
Everything's going wrong for me today. There he is, he's back over there again. He's pushed across. Dang it. There he goes. Dang it, I hit him. He hit it, but he didn't take it. Dang it. It's a thump thump. He didn't take it. Dang it, right there. He tapped it, but didn't take it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm all done with this line though. This line's killing me today. Ah. <laughs> I have been in one little spot for a long time, way longer than I should have been. And the reds come, they start cut, they, they'll come in and out and move in and out and move in and out this area. I just can't, I mean, there's one over there. I just can't figure out what they want. They just don't want anything I'm throwing at them. They don't want, the only thing I got to hit on was a spoon and it came off. It's like a thump thump. And then I want to go set my line and there was nothing there. So, I mean, and that was the only spoon I had at that side. Everything else is smaller and they don't want the smaller stuff. But I don't know, you know. I'm just going to keep moving and, and, and go on and see if I can find fish somewhere else. I know there are reds here. I mean, they are here. Um, seen plenty of them. Still seeing them now. They just, uh, too much bait, you know. They don't want, they don't want what I have. So, I'm going to go. These guys are way too smart. I'm going to go see if I can find some dumb ones. Well, you know what they say, what can go wrong, will go wrong. My rudder took a crap on me. I had to rig it, so it's kind of rigged where it's down. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do when I get back to the landing. Uh, I might try to pull over like I just did here. You know, I had to jump out in a nasty, nasty, uh, wet, uh, soft mud. Um, I think before I get to the landing, I'll just jump back out and... Uh, take apart the little rig that I did to make it stay down because it's gonna stay down now uh, no matter what so hopefully it doesn't get too much shallow I'm fluttering a little bit um, I'm hoping that it doesn't get too much sh more shallow than this I am back in the creek with all the shad and I am determined to figure out what they want what they are what they are biting on so I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna get a small little profile Shrimp, I noticed that I've seen a few shrimp start popping up. It's not just shad anymore. So let's put this thing on. Let's put it on a four horseman cork. And what I'm going to try to do is just simply cast on the bait and just pop it softly and see if I can get them to bite. Change the profile of lure to see what that was busting up on it, and it's gonna be a nice speckle trout. Oh, come on! I missed him again. Dang it! I missed him several times. <clears throat> see, they're busting on these little shads, and uh, I was casting on them a little bit this morning, but I wasn't really paying too much attention because. A lot of times it can be anything busting on these little shads. Even if they look like trout, sometimes it can be other stuff. And uh, and have my mind fixated so much on going to go look for those reds that I kind of half-heartedly fished. But I changed the profile of that lure. And see, he's going to be 16 and a quarter. 16 and a half. 16 and three quarters, I'm sorry. I changed the profile and put a much smaller voodoo shad on to kind of mim mimic the profile of that of the uh, of the shad I put a much smaller shrimp on to mimic the profile of the shad that they're blowing up on and you can see they're just they're just everywhere around here all over here so I was waiting to see where they popped where it exploded at and then cast right on top of it First fish of the day, that's awesome. 
You know, it took, took a while, man. Oh my gosh, took a while. But, you know, these little shads, they're always going to be bait underneath it. And they can make it so hard to get a bite because so many fish just want them. I don't know what they taste like. They're like popcorn. They're like chicken nuggets. I don't know what they are like to the fish. But so many fish just want them. And I got lucky and got that guy on. So let's see if we catch a couple more since they're over here. I'm going to kind of hang out this area. The problem is, is the headwind. So it doesn't wear me out. <laughs> but hey, thanks for watching. Texas all water fishing. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I am sorry. You know, I tried <laughs> as hard as I could. I went out for uh, for a while. I don't know, maybe about eight hours on the water. And I uh, just couldn't find them. Just couldn't. I found the fish. I just couldn't find what they wanted. And, you know, that, that happens a lot this time of year. There's a lot of bait in the water. Uh, fish are get really picky. They get a little lockjaw sometimes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I, I can figure out to explain it. I didn't have, uh, I would have thrown a couple different things. Um, I didn't have my tackle box. Just a couple tackle boxes that I like to bring with me. Uh, I lost a spoon. I got hit and the spoon came off. And I didn't have any other spoons to put on that were that size or that were the same kind of spoon uh, with me. So that's unfortunate. But you know what happens. You know, this, it's a grind. You know, uh, fishing can be a grind as well as for YouTubers as it is for viewers. Um, but I appreciate you guys. If you made it this far in the, in the video, I appreciate you. Don't forget, we do have a Patreon page. So in case you were wondering, uh, you want some additional information, uh, help help with your learning curve. Perhaps you want to a fishing report, uh, more up to date fishing report. What I'm seeing on the water because this video probably won't get out. It's like maybe sometime next week, uh, ever anywhere from seven to ten days. So actually five to ten days really. So if you want more up to up to date information, then get over to Patreon. I'll shoot you a couple decals for joining. And uh, yeah, we have a. Uh, we have a patreon only meetup coming up here open invite meetup pretty soon i do throw open invites on there all the time so if that's something you're interested in check them out check, also check out this kayak cart check out blue dot outfitters they have a couple they have some very nice products over there and uh yeah help support those that support me and i thank each and every one of you for your support hopefully next time you're gonna catch me hooking up to more than just one fish thanks <laughs> Oh, <laughs>